Hello and welcome. So guys, we are in the inside the cockpit of our A320 flyby-air aircraft, and uh, today I'm going to show you how we can map the trailer of this aircraft with our controlling device, so that you can easily steer this aircraft on the ground, and you don't have to use the rudder pedals for steering. So it's a uh, easy process and. Uh, uh, let's see how it works. Uh, there are some conditions uh, on which uh, which are required to operate the trailer of this aircraft. Uh, we will see uh, how it works. Uh, so let's uh, power up our aircraft. Uh, let's uh, make the batteries on. We have the uh, ground power so let's use the ground power and let's start the fuel pumps let's uh, make it position to nav's and uh, <coughs> the bacon and the oxygen cryo oxygen supply now let's come to the fly pad and turn it on so we have a setting of realism in the fly pad uh, where you can uh, enable or disable the Tyler operation so first of all uh, let's go to the settings in the fly pad and uh, uh, here you will find a realism option and uh, in the realism option uh, at the bottom of these settings you will find a separate separate tiler from the rudder input uh, right now it is enabled for me but uh, you just have to yeah you will find it uh, disabled in your aircraft if you haven't enabled it yet so just uh, uh, click on enable and it will get enabled uh, so that's it in the fly pad. So now uh, the uh, tricky process is uh, how to map your controlling device uh, with the Tyler. Uh, let's see how you can do that. Uh, let's go to the settings. And in settings going uh, we have to go to the control options. And uh, in control options uh, you have to select your controlling uh, joystick or whatever you are using I'm using the Logitech dual action gamepad for controlling my aircraft so just go this uh, go to this uh, controlling uh, device profile and you will find the power management option here so just uh, open the power management option and uh, uh, right now it is assigned select uh, filter uh, select filter to all so you'll find all the options here now you have to go to the power management and inside the power management you will find uh, an option for the mixture control in mixture control you have to search for the mixture 4 axis from minus 100 to plus 100 uh, percent this will be used uh, to bind up with the trailer and just click on this uh, tab to set an input and uh, just uh, click here start scanning and uh, just uh, uh, move your input just like this so uh, my joystick uh, doesn't have a binding of this input to any of the actions so I'm using this uh, for uh, my Tyler action and uh, this is my uh, joystick R uh, button on with the Z axis so now uh, this is set and just uh, click on validate and uh, it is now binded and you can see by moving it yeah this is working completely okay now just uh, click on apply and save and go back and then resume your uh, game now uh, currently in the aircraft we are in the state uh, uh, of just uh, our aircraft uh, is uh, just on uh, external power there is no engine running so the Tyler won't work in this condition but 
you can see when I move my joystick uh, button which I have just binded with this tiler when I move it the tiler is now moving it will move but it uh, won't uh, operate the nose wheel landing gear just because uh, the conditions to f uh, work for the tiler is uh, uh, the minim uh, minimum one of the engine of uh, aircraft uh, is should be running and uh, nose wheel steering should be turned on and uh, the main landing gear should be on the ground uh, so these are some conditions uh, for the tiler to work uh, and uh, to operate the nose wheel gear so that you can steer on the ground uh, actually these are the safety features uh, <coughs> uh, if uh, you are in the air and uh, still uh, uh, by ch uh, in case you operate the tiler and uh, the nose wheel gear uh, may somehow moves in the another direction so it will cause uh, a damage to the may uh, landing gear or may it cause an accident on the uh, runway while landing so uh, do you, uh, so for the safety reason uh, these conditions are uh, to be fulfilled to operate the uh, nose wheel gear uh, with the trailer now let's uh, see uh, how it works uh, so for that uh, we have to start our aircraft so let's just uh, start it uh, so first of all we have to start uh, the APU let's start the APU I haven't checked uh, the APU uh, for fire alarm just because I'm uh, uh, doing uh, little check to whether the nose wheel steering is working or not uh, see okay so it's uh, uh, flap open the APU is going to be come up We have the auxiliary power unit available in the aircraft and let's uh, turn on the APU bleed and disconnect the external power. Now let's uh, start the aircraft. Uh, parking brake is uh, on. So Okay now it can't be started. Let's start the engine number one. And, uh, one more thing, let's see uh, when I move this uh, binding of Tyler in this state, the nose wheel is not uh, moving or not doing any action. Uh, but uh, after starting off uh, the engine, let's see how it works. Now we're coming up, uh, and two is forty five percent, and EGD is five two zero. So uh, we have our engine started and we have our nose wheel steering anti skid is uh, on and uh, obviously our main landing gear is uh, on the ground so now let's check it so now uh, when I move the Tyler see this this and let's come on to the ground you can now see when I am moving the Tyler the landing gear is moving but there is no movement in the rudder you can see clearly now uh, let's just see the movement of rudder yeah so now uh, when I am moving the rudder uh, there is no movement in the uh, nose wheel gear 
and when I'm moving the landing gear nose wheel gear with the Tyler there is no movement in the rudder so this is how the Tyler uh, separates some nose wheel gear with the uh, separates the nose wheel gear movement uh, from the uh, uh, rudder and the, uh, you can operate it separately and you can steer uh, very easily on the ground uh, let us check it also uh, uh, let's get it uh, push back and let's check the movement mm, connect the and parking brakes off Let's go back. Let's just see if there is someone there backside. There is no one. Okay. Um, let's. Let's get in the position of uh, taxiing. Uh, so now we are in the position to taxiing the aircraft let's uh, check the I show you uh, while taxing you will not uh, see the rudder moving but you will see the so on the taxi lights see the trailer is working and the aircraft is moving towards the right right okay checking the brakes and now while using the rudder paddles it will only move slightly in the right or the left but uh, while using the trailer you can move it very easily See, see, you can see the trailer moving and the aircraft is also turning around without uh, movement of the rudder paddles. Yes, that's it. So, uh, with the use of uh, Tyler, it is uh, very easy to uh, move the aircraft on the ground, and uh, also you can see from the ground
I will show you the movement from the ground. Let's see. Now, uh, see. So the cheese camera is not working. So the world this view you can see. No. While moving the rudder nose wheel is moving very slightly but with the tiler the nose wheel is moving accurately where we want see so now uh, we can see how uh, tire the tiler works and how we can bind it uh, in this aircraft so uh, this is all for now thank you very much uh, please like and subscribe my channel good day